Hey everyone, Steph here. Uh, welcome to Theta Space. This short video is just to announce a new feature that I'm planning on introducing here in the next week or two. So if you're already familiar with my channel, you've noticed that it's just all over the place. There's just a bunch of random content with no particular focus. Uh, I've tried a couple of times to have some regular content. Most recently, a couple of years ago, uh, I was recording myself playing basic level piano pieces as I learned them. And uh, before that, eight years ago, I had my Song of the Week project, uh, which I dropped the axe on after only 13 weeks. Uh, the idea for this series actually came from a suggestion by my lovely wife, Nancy. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, she said, maybe you should do a music channel because you watch them so much. Uh, and at first I kind of dismissed it. I didn't think that I would have much to say about the music that I listened to. But I thought about it some more, and I thought maybe I could do a series in the format of uh, Pete Pardo's Sea of Tranquility channel. If you're a fan of progressive rock like I am, you might be familiar with Sea of Tranquility. It's all about reviewing classic hard rock and progressive rock records. And uh, Mr. Pardo is actually a contemporary of mine. He's just three years my senior. And his channel is worth watching if you're into that sort of thing, so I will link him in the description. But Pete has a lot more CDs than I do, and he's listened to a lot more uh, classic prog rock than I have. I mean, for instance, I've hardly listened to any Peter Gabriel era Genesis uh, other than the Nursery Crime album. So there's no point in me trying to occupy the same niche that he fills. I think the most that I'll ever venture into his territory will be to uh, make a video replying to his ranking of the Blue Oyster Cult studio albums. Uh, but before I can even do that, I'm going to have to track down the albums Heaven Forbid and Curse of the Hidden Mirror and give them at least a few listens apiece because I never caught those albums when they came out. However, I do have a few albums by more obscure and esoteric bands that Pete doesn't seem to talk about. Uh, I'm already preparing a review of the first self-titled album by U Totem, uh, and I've also got records by their parent groups, the Motor Totemist Guild, and five UUs, as well as Thinking Plague, who come from the same kind of musical heritage or lineage that the five UUs do. Both are uh, kind of second-generation rock in opposition groups uh, inspired by the likes of Henry Cow. And then there's my favorite progressive group, Kenso, from Japan. Uh, my next video after the Utilitum video will be a ranking of Kenso's nine studio albums, and after that, uh, well, I haven't thought that far ahead, so we'll just have to see. Now, ideally, I'd put this on a weekly release schedule, but honestly, I don't think that's going to be realistic. I mean, I make it the goal, but I think I'll be doing pretty good to just get the uh, videos up bi-monthly. Um, again, we'll see. And so, as a joke, I thought I might call this series Tree of Sanguinity, since it's uh, clearly inspired by Pete Pardo's channel, and it's kind of a an affectionate nod and an acknowledgement. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, if anybody's actually watching this, uh, let me know in the comments. Drop a note what you think. And uh, also, uh, I'm open to suggestions of uh, other bands or albums to uh, cover in this series. I have enough in my own collection to keep this going for a while, uh, assuming that I stay with it. But I'll be the first to admit that my experience is still pretty limited and that other people know a lot of stuff that I don't. So that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, keep watching this space for my U Totem review, hopefully next weekend. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. They don't cost anything. And uh, I'll see you soon. Steph out. <laughs>